So to properly rig up a brand new Salvimar Hero Roller Spear Gun, um, you start with laying out all the components that come with the gun. Uh, the instruction manual is important, particularly on these roller guns that are non-conventional. I'll definitely go through that. Here is your loader, your loading aid with a hook. That's to pull it uh, on the front towards you, like a regular wishbone. Extra handle, you won't need this right away. Uh, if you're left or right-handed, rigging monofilament that comes with the package. And we will be using this to rig this gun. This is an extra piece of Dyneema wishbone. We will not need that right away. And then we're gonna take it a step further today and we're gonna uh, rig up one of these extra bunny rabbit uh, wishbones to make it easier to load the gun instead of having to use that load aid. And of course your spear shaft. So we have a nice 7.5 millimeter Salvimar Pacific spear shaft that goes on this gun. Okay, um, the tools you'll need to rig up your Hero Roller. You're gonna have a crimping tool, good crimping tool like this. A pair of scissors, nice sharp pair of scissors that can cut good fabric. Pliers, either small needle nose or a really good, accurate, you know, strong pair of bites, regular pliers, and then a box cutter, something sharp, and of course a lighter. All right, so let's get this gun rigged. Let's go with the uh, conventional rigging process first. Let's start with the monofilament. All right, most of you who have rigged up spear guns before know how to do this. I like to rig these guns in the front rear shark fin, not the cheater tab shark fin, but the front shark fin. Um, that is important, so make sure the loop is long enough so that it actually can go behind the spear shaft, the shark fin when you shoot it. You don't want it to go over the other shark fin or be too short that it can't even get over its own shark fin. Then what we'll do is we'll rig this. Um, these are generally 1.6 millimeter crimps, uh, I, I'm sorry, 1.9 millimeter crimps. The monofilament is about 1.6. So you'll crimp it like this, with your pair of crimping tools. This is a very good crimping tool, by the way. This is a Maverick crimping tool. It's cold forged. The rest of them are pressed and they get weak and loose after several years. This is really strong. It's a carbon uh, steel and um, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't deform. And so it cuts clean, even cable. Okay, now we've uh, crimped uh, the end, uh, the back end of the shaft. We're gonna go ahead and insert it in the gun, just like you would load load the spear gun. Careful because it'll want to catch the wishbone every single time you put it in. So make your shark fin shaft go through the fitting here, in front of the muzzle. Slide it down that nice Teflon track. Engage it. Once it's engaged, now start to measure your monofilament. So you're gonna have these bands in the way and they're gonna kind of get a little bit cumbersome uh, to move around. But you know, the key is just like any spear gun, run the monofilament parallel back from the shaft over and through here in that groove. The roller hero has another groove there, uh, so you can see where to run the monofilament nicely. You're going to come back, giving, putting a little pressure on the mono so that you can rig it the right length. Back under uh, this little ear here, which is to tuck the line. Okay. Now we've got the monofilament measured. So what we want to do is take your crimping pliers. And Nico, if you could please hand me a muzzle and bungee, MA-1153. One of those. That is, this will be an, an extra uh, part that you actually need. Thank you. This is a muzzle snap bungee, Maverick America product here. Uh, of course, we make them. These things are about $8. They're perfect. Stainless steel snap clip. 
Okay, and so here's the trick is going to be, this is my little trick for fitting these things through tight spaces. You can literally squeeze it with it. And this is gonna be your line anchor. It's gonna go right in there. As you can see, makes that a lot easier. It's generally really kind of tough to get it like that. Um, this on the gun is also considered a reel guide, but you are not gonna use that if you're not using a reel. And I would recommend rigging this gun without a reel guide uh, the first few times. Uh, without the reel and without using the reel guide um, until you get used to shooting it and using it. The, um, these guns are a little trickier to rig and therefore I would, I would just keep it simple without the reel at the beginning, attach a float line to the back of the gun. Okay, so now we've installed the monofilament crimp here on the other end. Pre-stretch your bungee a little bit. See how I'm doing that? I'm stretching the bungee. That gives away any sag problem. Um, you don't want sag, otherwise your monofilament will shoot off. Um, try to flower the end of your crimp just a little bit um, and use the right size uh, adjustment on the crimping tool. You can see, once again, that's, that's 1.5 to 2.0. These are 1.9 crimps that we're using. We now have a clean crimp. Tow it out 90 degrees. Cut your tag end. That's done. This gun is pretty much now ready to shoot in factory condition, but we're gonna put a twist on this. Uh, when I say a twist, I mean we're gonna add something to make this gun easier to load. As you can see now, the bottom of the gun is set with this really long wishbone. And what we're going to do is make it easier so that you don't have to use the loading aid when you're in the water, like this. This is what you would use to, to preload the gun, right? You would pull with two hands this, uh, the band as if it were a regular band, and you would load it, and then you would take this off and put it back on your weight belt or what have you. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this more simple than that. We're actually just going to pre-rig another rabbit ear wishbone, I like to call it. Um, that's gonna make it so if you forget your roller aid at home, you don't, you don't have to have it. You could just use this little trick that a lot of the other roller guns uh, already use. So here is your uh, regular wishbone. This is the one that goes on the shark fin. All you're going to do is a very simple overhand knot. Okay. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to find the, the tight spot here in between the existing Dyneema wishbone knot and the base of the band. You're going to pull a cinch knot. Uh, I recommend you, you look this one up. If you're not sure how this one goes, let's try to you're gonna snug this one down, snug your cinch, cinch knot. You're gonna put one on the other side. Again, this is gonna piggyback your wishbone. So the last part here, uh, our uh, uh, bunny ear wishbone to help in the loading process is to do an overhand cinch knot right there. Again, this is just an overhand knot that cinches down. Whoops, that wasn't right. Sometimes even easy knots become difficult in tight spaces. All right, you got that one sort of preset to pull it tight. This one is actually your proper cinch knot because this, this one is important because this is your actual wishbone. So it's going through the hole, around the back side, and then back into the loop there, the hoop that you just created. So remember through the hole, 
around the top and then back through the loop you created. Pull it through. That now snugs itself. Now you can pull this one tight too. Pull with a pair of pliers. And the reason is this knot is on the back side of that cinch knot for your main wishbone. And so it's important because what's gonna happen here is when you pull on this, it will pull on the back side of that one and, it, and the knots for the main wishbone are, are what's gonna stop it from sliding off. So you really wanna preset this as tight as possible from the start. Uh, pull this tight, cinch it so that it's not gonna come apart again. Again, this is not, it's not a huge problem if this one ever gives up because it's just a loading aid, but you don't want your main wishbone line giving up. So once you have that pretty, cut off the ends. You don't need all this extra fluff out there. You now have two wishbones. You have your main wishbone, which is the white Dyneema that comes stock from factory. And you have your piggyback wishbone. Make this pretty here. And here we go. And here's how we're gonna load this gun. Back to the muzzle. Back to the preload that the manufacturer puts in there. Remember, you have three settings on this gun. One, two, and three. And now, here we are at the front of the gun. And you can see that while we're getting these two sides of the rubber even, um, you can see now what will happen is this front here. There's your, your wishbone sticking out. I'm actually increasing the tension here just a little bit. Make it a little tighter. Now here is your cheater wishbone, your bunny rabbit ear wishbone. And this is how it works. Camera over. Instead of using the loading aid, you now just have it where you're loading it with your fingers, your hands, you grab it. You then position the actual wishbone. This is, you're testing it here, making sure everything works, it's tight. Only do this underwater. Here's your bunny rabbit ear wishbone. Um, again, uh, don't, don't do this out of the water. I'm just showing you for this video and testing purposes. Uh, and remember that on a roller gun, you want to go to the last shark fin. And the reason is that once the shot fires, this wishbone's gonna come tight on the front of the muzzle. And so it has to clear all the shark fins and it will only do so effectively if you put it on the back one. So now you've created a hero roller with a little cheater piggy, piggyback wishbone. This is Mark from Maverick America, Salvimar Distributors. And we appreciate your business. And remember that all the guns that you buy from us here in America, uh, not from Virginia Beach on eBay, but here in America, come with a full manufacturer warranty and we take care of these for you.